Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a paleo crumb chicken. So this is a really simple recipe which I find works every time and it's of course all gluten and dairy free. Now making crumb chicken or any kind of crumb dinner option was really high on my priority list when I went paleo because my husband James loves anything crumbed so you can rest assured that it has his seal of approval and it's very tasty we're using a cajun spice mix for this recipe today but you can also experiment with different things like italian herbs and other mixes that you can make at home we'll have a few on the blog as well yeah so we're going to provide a couple of different options for spices to add to this crumb chicken recipe on the blog so if you're interested in that then head to uh, the link which we'll provide in the description below uh, but other than that let's get started so for this recipe you're going to need 400 grams of chicken thighs half a cup of tapioca flour one egg one cup of almond meal two teaspoons of paprika one teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of chili powder or chili flakes one teaspoon of dried thyme half a teaspoon of sea salt and some pepper So I've got everything set up on the table now in front of me to make the crumb chicken and it takes three steps. We've got here the tapioca starch, half a cup, and we've got one egg which I've scrambled and then I have almond meal with all of the paprika, onion powder and the other spices. So basically all you want to do is coat each piece of chicken with the tapioca starch, then add a layer of the egg and then add the final coat which is the crumb and I've taken the chicken thighs and flattened them out with the knife as well as I can and then cut them in half now you could do the whole thigh as one piece like a schnitzel or you can cut it into small pieces it's really up to you but I've done half thighs so we're going to get started with the crumbing now I've just got clean washed hands you could also wear gloves if you wanted to but the trick to not making a huge mess all over the place and on your hands when you make crumb chicken is to reserve one hand for doing the egg mixture and one for applying the crumb so I'll show you what that looks like but it saves so much mess Another tip is I like to apply tapioca to all the pieces before I get started with the egg and the almond meal crumb. So I'm going to actually do this now. Okay, so all the chicken is coated in the tapioca starch now and I'm going to coat with the egg and the crumb. So again, left hand is going to be egg hand, right hand is crumb. That stops a gummy mess on your fingers. Trust me, it works. Okay, so today we're just using coconut oil, but you could also use ghee, which makes a really tasty crumb chicken. And we cook for about three to four minutes per side, not too hot, because the last thing you want is the crumb to burn before the chicken cooks through. And that's about it, so let's get started. Okay guys, so that wraps up this video. So if you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more recipes from us that are all paleo, so gluten and dairy free, then please subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, Bye. guys. And before you know it, we were kind of eating paleo. And now we obviously name our videos paleo mm. and talk about paleo recipes. And that's not to exclude anyone that doesn't follow paleo or want to be identified as paleo, but it's much easier for us to use that label. Yeah. But really it just means that we eat normal whole foods. 